lives each year. At Big Health, we aim to reduce the significant cost of productivity, bridge the health gap between certain population groups, create healthier places for me, improve the quality of people's lives. If you'd like to know more... Hi guys, so I am done with my first class for the day. And right now, I just need to go grab a few stuff. We are completely out of stock on a lot of things in the house. So, guys, look at my hair. So I need to just go grab a few things from the store. And then I have another class by 7, but it's a remote class, so I don't need to go anywhere. So I'm heading right now. I'm hungry, so I might go to Tim Hortons to get something to eat. If I don't, I'll just go ahead to the store, grab a few things and go home. So I'll see you guys much later. I just got back from superstore now and i bought a whole lot so i'm going to be doing a quick um haul grocery haul with you guys and then at the end of the haul i'm going to tell you guys how much everything costs like the total amount of everything that i bought so um let's just get started with the grocery haul mm. i'm going to be attaching the prices of everything that i bought i'm not going to be saying it like because the receipt is huge and um it's going to take us a lot of time if i you know start searching for um the prices of each item on the receipt so i'm just going to show you guys what i bought and then i'll attach the price um, on the screen for you guys to see i got a bag of apples i don't even know how many pieces of apples are in here i'll count later a bag of um onion this is a detergent for doing laundry i also have to do laundry today my day is crazy today honestly I still have to do laundry today and i have to cook i'm going to carry you guys along with the laundry but cooking i'm not sure i'm gonna do that because i'm not just cooking one i'm cooking like two different foods today and i'm tired and i'm stressed and you know taking the camera from here to here cooking is gonna be a lot for me so maybe i'll just show you guys the end product of the food so this is my favorite granite oil it's um canola oil when I came here newly and I saw this oil, I was kind of skeptical about it because I saw canola oil and I saw this flower that they drew here. So I was kind of like confused and skeptical, like, will this oil be good? 
let me not go and buy something that i don't know but then it, it turned out to be very 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 okay it's my favorite and i also got um this pieces of um, green sweet peppers i think they are seven in number i want to make ofada sauce the food we've been eating here is just um rice and stew jello fries rice and beans um soup yam so i want to just like maybe okay make ofada sauce for a change i got another pep sweet pepper the red and the orange one the red and the orange one mixed together produces a very very good flavor that you would love if you try it out and then i got tomatoes you guys i'll show you how much i got these tomatoes tomatoes here yeah, i think it's one one dollar 29 per lb so i don't know how many lb this is i didn't wait myself like i said earlier i'm gonna attach a price um the price on the screen for you guys to see oh, i bought mangoes i really don't know much about mangoes here and i don't know i know i won't leave this mango i did actually buy it for myself i got it for my husband okay so i don't know he'll lick it and then he'll be the judge small bag of white onion i bought a bag of coleslaw chopping veggies is really not my thing can call me lazy i don't care but so long as i see an easier route or an easy pass i will take it so i bought shredded ones already so i don't have to start cutting cabbage spinach this is seven pieces of spinach here you guys i use spinach to make um vegetable soup and it's very nice i use it with okazi and it turns out well so i saw a nigerian woman she was packing this leaf and I, I went to meet her and i asked her what is this what do you use this leaf to cook and she said the leaf is actually nice with you see it's kale so i just bought two pieces of it and i want to try it out today and see how it comes out i'll be making a greasy soup with this today i also got quaker oats i've come to love this um a whole lot and my husband also loves it so this usually goes well for us for breakfast so i also got another type of it so i always check um i check the contents to make sure that it doesn't have too much starch or too much carbohydrate this one has 11 percent of carbohydrates and that one has 20. i know my husband will love this one he eats healthier than i do i got bananas and i saw this um um instant oats i haven't made it before like i haven't made this type and i don't know if it's going to be the same thing with this one they look like it's the same but different it's the same um product but it's different this one this one is flavored so i can't wait i think i will try out this one first pancake mix i don't know my husband is a typical when i say somebody is a typical Igbo man i don't know if he's going to like this i actually have no idea if you would like this i got burger beef and i got the buns and you know i made it and he didn't like it so i don't know so i'm just gonna try it he doesn't even like pizza that much he, he eats pizza maybe after too much preaching from me and he just bites more so i'll make this and see if he would actually like this if he does then it's in our routine spaghetti i would recommend this spaghetti barilla spaghetti al dente so this spaghetti is actually very nice i've just come to love it and like i said earlier i always check the content of whatever i'm buying to know how healthy it will be so this is uh, by far like the best um for me though i'm just sampling my opinion here so i got six pieces of spaghetti i'll be leaving the price the um, total price i think it should be up it should be like maybe 13 dollars or so for the six pieces i'll check dish liquid i got peppers i got tin tomatoes i got seven pieces of this brand this brand is from um no name then i got this unico brand i also got this one i got two um three pieces of it so that makes the tomatoes 10 in number toothpaste some um, green peas coconut milk or coconut rice i got a bag of bag of tangerine and also got a small bag of oranges this is another bag of sweet peppers that i got peanut butter from no name sweet corn as well we have carrot this is the only fresh veggies that i bought we'll have to dice this ourselves garlic sorry ginger i use this whipped cream in place of salad cream it's very nice you guys can try it out 
I don't know. So if you're in Canada or I don't know if you can find this wherever you are, this is very nice. Trust me for salad. And if you use it to eat bread, divine. I also got a jar of milk. Powdered milk is kind of expensive. I bought Nido the last time for 32 point something dollars and that's a lot it doesn't last up to a month and it's out and we're out of it again i have to go and restock i just thought to buy this liquid milk it's tasteless but would have to get used to it this is the receipt how bulky and long it is so everything that i spent today was um a total of 29 dollars 60 sorry two hundred and fifty nine dollars sixty cents this is not just the only thing we buy we buy meat we are not big on cow meat here we rather eat goat meat so we buy goat meat from a store here and we buy the ties we like the goat lap we buy it for forty five dollars and we use it to cook three times and then we have to buy again we also buy chicken we buy the box of hard chicken there are times we also go to the african store to buy a few things like when i ran out of um the food stuff that i came with and the one my husband came with we had to you know start um going to the african store to get maybe a greasy or anything we wanted so he had to you know do cargo he bought food stuff from nigeria and brought it in here um, via a cargo and it cost a whole lot of money so this is not just everything we buy in a month we could you know there are times we spend more than this we, we do spend times two of these aside this so this is what we spend as a family of three in canada and as the family grows the budget increases so um i'll just go ahead now and you know put this um stuff away and then i'll rest for a while and then i'll go do laundry and i'll carry you guys along with me to go do laundry you guys saw how i did laundry in my previous um um, the previous apartment that i stayed in i had a washing machine and dryer for myself in the basement suites that we're staying but here now that's not the case it's a public washer and dryer and we use coin to wash so i'll carry you guys along with me to show you guys how i do laundry in this new house yeah so i'll see you guys in the next clip Hi guys good morning the time right now is 7 59 a.m and i'm currently on my way to work it's this winter is beginning to winter so um i don't have much today so i just go to work come back go pay um something in an insurance company make food for tomorrow and then go to class have a class by 7 p.m 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. So I will see you guys much later. I need to focus so I don't fall down and my hands are freezing. So yeah, talk to you guys much later. You guys, the bus is coming. I don't know if you guys can see the bus. It's coming.
guys good morning today is friday i'm all dressed up with multiple layers of clothing the time is 7 50 a.m now and um as you can see it's still very dark outside and we just got a um severe weather warning it's going to be incredibly cold today yesterday was cold in fact throughout this week was intense and today will be colder so i had to you know prepare myself because i still take the bus and um waiting most time the buses come late and you have to wait in the cold so i just need to you know take precautions so i don't get frostbite the only thing i'm lacking right now is a pair of gloves i actually do have gloves but the previous gloves that i've had in the past don't really do much so i need to get more so i have to leave the house right now and get going because i don't want to miss the bus so guys i am i am done with work for the day currently at the bus stop now waiting for uh, the bus i'm on my way home i don't have much to do today so uh we just stay home and chill and make food for a bus so yeah i'm on my way home right now and i'll see you guys when i get home and i have um an unboxing to do um my ring light the one i usually use it got spoiled it broke so um i got a replacement and we'll be doing the big unboxing today when i get home you guys it's freezing here so i have to stop filming now so that my hands i don't get frostbite because i don't have gloves as of now so i'll see you guys much later hi guys so today is saturday and i am really excited you guys saturdays are my favorite day we get to relax and unwind ourselves and our bodies from the stress that we've had during the week and i'm going to be ending this vlog today this is going to be the clip that will be concluding this vlog and tomorrow we'll be starting another vlog i do not want the you know videos already becoming too long so i'll just choose to start the next week's vlog from tomorrow which is sunday so this video will probably go up tomorrow or monday i'm yet to figure out a day when i will upload video weekly like i said earlier this is going to be like a new series for me and the channel and for us so if it doesn't go up tomorrow being sunday it might not come up on Monday because i don't know posting videos on mondays i like posting videos during the weekend so that you guys can you know um relax during the weekend and then watch videos and have fun while at it so um, i said in uh, my videos that is not yet up on the channel my ring light got broken so i had to get a replacement because the lighting right now is not so great that's because my ring light is faulty so i had to get another one from amazon that came in two days ago and we will be unboxing it together aside that i also got a waxing um i don't know what to call it like a waxing machine um and some waxing beads that i want to use to you know wax the necessary parts of my body so i would also be unboxing that with you and yeah before i forget i also want to go downstairs currently it's minus 32 degrees right now but feels like minus 44 so i've been seeing before i came to canada I, I used to see these videos of people pouring hot water out in the cold and it you know turns to ice so i'll probably go downstairs after filming this video with my camera and you know see if i could you know try the experiment and see if it turns out to be true and of course i'm going to be sharing it to you guys but it won't be here it will be on my tiktok you should go and follow me on tiktok i will leave my handle on the screen follow me on tiktok so you guys can watch that video and probably i'll so i'll also put it up on youtube short as well so yeah so let's just get right into unboxing the like
so guys i just finished unboxing them i'll just quickly do a setup now so that i can show you guys um how or if the lighting is actually what it says it is Thank you. 